Hello guys and welcome to my new video. So today I decided to do a video about my main for BFA. I've done a video like this before, but I've been playing the pre-patch, I've been playing the beta. I've been playing pre-patch a lot. If you watch my stream lately, I've been really trying to nail down on a character, on a healing character that I'm going to main. And in my previous video I mentioned I was going to go with the Resto Druid. And I'm still kind of stuck with the same conclusion, but I want to go, I want to go through every healer and cover the points that I feel are strong about them, the points that I like about them, the points that I don't like about it. But you have to keep in mind, this is a personal opinion video. The healers that I'm going to mention or the healers that I don't like does not mean that they're bad healers. On the contrary, Holy Paladin is one of the classes that I feel are extremely boring right now, but the fact is the Holy Paladin is, at, again, extremely strong in 5 months and probably mandatory for raids because there's a lot of tank damage happening so Holy Paladin is a very legitimate choice if you want to push those mythic plus, if you want to push those mythic raid content but in my eyes Holy Paladin is extremely boring so for me I would rather play a character that I find really interesting and who is relatively competitive in the high scene as well in the high mythic and high mythic plus scene as well so this video is going to cover all of the healers. Keep in mind, this is my personal opinion. You are allowed to disagree. You're allowed to agree. Leave comments below and things like that. So first of all, um, Holy Paladins. Holy Paladins, one of the healers that I played quite a bit. I have did quite a lot of high-end raids with Holy Paladin. I enjoyed Holy Paladin when I started playing immensely, but I feel a lot of the BFA changes that happened to Holy Paladin have been quite negative. The removal of the rework of aura of sacrifice in my eyes is one of the biggest mistakes that they did it was such a fun spell and kind of made holy paladin what they were holy paladins used to have a lot of cooldowns to manage if you pair up your cooldowns with your aura of sacrifice you did really well that's gone you're playing a a watered down holy paladin from legion holy paladin does not have like tears deliverance even though tears deliverance was not the most spell to, most fun spell to use it was still a cooldown right now you don't even have that many cooldowns you might not even use Holy Avenger depending on the situation you go with. The new spell, the new spell Avenger Crusader, which in my eyes is actually really fun and brings some really nice nice gameplay to Holy Paladins. Again, it replaces your wings. You don't really get an additional cooldown. You don't have that many cooldowns anymore. Your auras or of mastery is not really that interesting to use. I mean, it feels like... What Blizzard did is that, okay, we're bringing Holy Paladins, Holy Paladin playstyle is a little bit bland, it's a little bit stale, but we're gonna give you all of these random talents, we're gonna make Infusion of Light way harder to proc, it's gonna be a proc that's going to make your gameplay more fun, and I feel it kind of backfired. I don't think any, I don't think any healer or a lot of healers will enjoy the proc playstyle, or at least it's not something that they're like, oh, I got a proc, but there's no one to heal. Ah oh, well, I'll wait for another proc again. And I feel it's not really a fun game style. It does not mean that they're bad. They're going to be extremely strong. I think the most fun that I had with a Holy Paladin Legion was with tier 24 set. For the people who can't remember, tier 24 set, after casting Light of Dawn, your beacon transfer was increased for a, for a certain amount of time. And then you had this kind of combo play style. I really enjoyed tier, 20, tier 24 set. Not only because it was extremely overpowered, but also it was kind of fun. And after that, with the tier 21 random procs and things like that, I felt it was all going down the hill and all of the BFA changes are just not for me. It's not the healer that I'm going to be maining. It's not the healer that I'm going to be very excited to play either. Now, another healer that in my eyes kind of lost out in terms of gameplay was Restoration Shaman. Now, I'm kind of surprised to say this, that I actually enjoyed playing Resto Shaman in raids, even without the Cloud Burst. Cloud Burst Totem right now is not the go-to. It has been buffed just when i'm doing this video so it might cloud Wars might climb up in being a better talent that it is but right now when i was playing the pre-patch cloud Wars was just basically as a mana saving tool because it was extremely cheap it would give you free healing it didn't give you crazy amount of burst because you don't have that ag you didn't have all the cool ways to you know get that really big burst and also the fact that it replaces healing stream totem and healing stream totem does a surprising amount of healing and also the fact that Earthen Wall Totem, which is in your utility row, is also extremely overpowered because it can make up a big portion of your healing. You have to consider that Ancestral Vigor is probably better for progression fights, but it doesn't show up on the meters. I had a lot of fun trying out different talent choices with Resto Shamans so with things like Downpour, which is extremely strong in its own tier. Things like Wellsprings, which might not be the way to go to. It all depends in BFA. But, you know, those spells kind of gave you two new healing abilities that are on relatively short cooldown. And it kind of, you know, 
it made it more interesting. There's more spells to use. And I actually enjoy playing Rest of Shaman. They have the utility. They definitely have the different kinds of toolkits available to, you know, be extremely strong and stacked up fights. Have certain talents that help you when people are not as stacked up. So it is fun. I still feel Rest of Shamans are fun. Nothing is ever going to replace in my eyes the AG, like, you know, uh, an awesome AG used into Cloudburst Totem that's gonna give you an amazing burst. But I still feel Resto Shamans are really fun to play in raiding scenarios. I feel they have their uses, they have their utility, they have a lot of Azerite traits that are going to buff their main cooldowns, which I'm not sure how strong they are, but you can definitely see that Restos, Resto Shamans are going to be used in raids. Now, the biggest downfall for me for Resto Shamans from in Legion and actually in BFA is their 5-man healing. Their 5-man healing for me is one of the most boring healing. Like, like the gameplay is literally Riptide Healing Surge Healing Wave. It is a very, very minimalistic playstyle, which is basically all single target. But because most of the rest of Shaman AoE abilities are not really that great in 5-man situations, you're stuck with this single target healing that you're going to be using even if there's AoE, even if there's party-wide AoE happening. I mean, this might change with certain Azerite traits, but the fact is that I really didn't like that. I mean, there is a lot of utility the rest of Shaman can bring, but in terms of pure gameplay in 5-man scenarios, I was not really engaged. I was not really excited to be playing Resto Shaman 5 For me, it, mo it felt like more like, okay, I'll get that 50 15 done, I'll get that chest, and that's it. I don't want to touch Mythic Plus. If there's a Mythic Raid or something, count me in. Resto Shamans are so fun in raids. So that's one of the big downfalls. Now, if I look at Priests. Priests have been quite fun. I I'm actually really surprised about how much fun I had playing a Holy Priest. Holy Priest felt pretty, pretty strong. Holy World Salvation was extremely, extremely broken in pre-patch. You were able to kind of cheese it with the Legendary Helm. That was removed, or Legendary Helm was nerfed, and you could no longer do that. But Holy World Salvation still feels strong. You could spam Binding Heal for, like, forever, and never run out of mana, and you could do decent healing from doing that. It's no surprise that Binding Heal mana has been increased just today because blizzard saw that as like holy priest would never have any mana issues if they're speaking to binding hill but now that might change so it's it's going to be a little different this ring priest feels again it feels pretty fun i mean light stride is no longer there which again kind of removes that crazy burst healing but it's kind of replaced with the with a talent built of schism solace sins of the many and then depending on the other tiers and now you had this way of dealing massive burst single damage, which kind of felt like Light's Wrath. And it was fun. It was fun to do that. But for me, I don't know. I don't know what's about Priest. I don't know whether it's because the class fantasy is not there for me, or whether it's because it's such a flavor of the month right now that basically every streamer, every YouTuber is playing Discipline Priest for five months and things like that. And I don't want to be just another... Just another YouTuber doing that, I kind of want to play someone else. And it is something that I, I am considering because I want to make videos about that class. I want to do streams and people will see those classes. So that's a consideration for me as well. So I'm not completely sold on the Priest, even though they do feel fun. They have changed a little bit. But for me, it's not really there. Not really. Personal opinion, you can love Holy Priest or this Priest. This is what I'm feeling right now. Now, for the last two healers that I had the by far the most fun is... First of all, Restoration Druid and Miss Weaver Monk. Now, Resto Druid has, you know, it feels like home. I've been playing Resto Druid for such a long time. I started this YouTube channel making Resto Druid videos, and it feels really hard for me to actually quit Resto Druid. And I don't want to quit Resto Druid. I want to give Resto Druid, you know, you know, a full opportunity to be fun again, uh, because. A lot of people are complaining about the 15 second rejuves. In my eyes, actually, I didn't like 15 second rejuves at the start, but over the time, you can kind of notice that it makes your gameplay a bit more smart. You need to be more aware of the fact when you're going to rejuvenate people, and the fact that there's been some changes with photosynthesis, photosynthesis has been buffed, so Blizzard wants photosynthesis to be viable. It might need a bit bigger buff in order to replace Flourish in Raids and maybe Germination in Fimans. We'll have to see, but I like where Blizzard is going with it, because I do enjoy photosynthesis. Uh, the fact that they nerf cultivation, cultivation is going to be pretty weak when BFA launches, because it, it works better with higher mastery. Not many people are going to have that much mastery in at the start of BFA, it means that Tree of Life is probably going to become your go-to ability, then on top of the fact that you're probably going to go with a 2-minute trank through inner peace, 
if it allow if the fight allows for it and then you're going to have flourish means you're gonna have three really strong cooldowns on relatively short duration and if you use them properly you can get some really really nice healing and i can see where breast of juice are going to be strong again if you're gonna have these cooldowns available to you you need to know when to use them and if you don't know when to use them you're going to be punished heavily so rest of juice in my eyes have become more difficult to play especially in raid scenarios and a lot of people might be put off by that they want to go back to that reduce spam which in my in my eyes i kind of enjoy the changes but i really don't enjoy the changes in five man situations because all of a sudden you will have germination is really strong in five man's 15 second reju feels pretty short and as the rest of Jude who's doing high content in like Mythic Plus or whatever, you know that you probably have to have as many rejuves rolling. If, especially if you don't know the fight, a five-man content fight, you're probably going to have rejuves rolling on people who even have full HP. Because if they get hit by something that's about to kill them or like bring them down to 10% HP, you need to make sure that your next heal is going to be big. And the only way to ensure that is to have as many hots rolling on them. So all of a sudden you're spending a lot of time placing rejuvenations on everyone. You're spending a lot of time clicking your, re your rejuve button on everyone in the party. If you know the fight, you probably won't have to do that. But at the start you will. You most likely will to order, in order to prevent those, you know, quick deaths. So that's something that I've grown to dislike over the time that I've been playing Resto Druid. It's a lot of clicking. <laughs> So that's why I've talked about Mistweaver Monks. And Mistweaver Monk is the healer that I've been playing the most. Because I've been strongly considering maining a Mistweaver. And I've been looking at raid and 5-man viability. A lot of streamers, a lot of people will tell you that in BFA, 5-man dungeons don't have that many one-shot mechanics. Which is only going to make Mistweavers and Druids to some extent stronger. Because if you don't have that bubble, if you don't have those strong, strong immunities, your healer might struggle if the fight is going to have those one-shot mechanics. But BFA is not looking to be like that. So that's actually really interesting because maybe these throughput healers, which I'm going to place Restoration Jude and Mistweaver in 5-man scenario bracket as a throughput healer, they feel pretty strong. I like their healing style and Mistweaver especially because the fact is that you get Renewing Mist. Renewing Mist, let's say it is Rejuvenation. That's two charges. But it's a smart Rejuvenation that jumps from target to target. You don't have to spam that all the time. You can even hold on to it in 5-man situations depending. If you use Thunder Focus T depending with certain talents in tier 100 you'll be able to have many renewing mist rolling and then you have this fun play style I, I consider it fun when you cast your essence font essence font is going to place hot on the targets and that hot is extremely strong because it's going to proc your mastery twice after you use things like vivify or even renewing mist renewing mist also becomes like a single target kind of heal if you have that you know double mastery proc available to you keep in mind that you know all the Renewing Mist targets are going to be healed when you heal people with Vivify. So it just feels a little bit smoother and less repetitive in my eyes. What I don't really like about Mist Weavers and Fireman's, I guess I'm not really a fan of melee DPS as a healer. I mean, I've been playing Kitty as Resto DPS, but I enjoy putting bleeds and then just going back to healing. With Mist Weaver, you just have to stay there and, you know... Make sure you DPS all the time. So that's just a personal preference to me. I prefer Resto Jew DPS. Even though Resto Jew DPS is now kind of shifting to balance affinity. So in my eyes, I always preferred ranged DPS or ranged ways of dealing damage. So I always enjoy that more. But overall, especially in raid scenarios, Mistweaver feels extremely, extremely fun with two different builds. With the fist weaving build, with the tank sitting build. Suiting Mist, like I mean he just chillax with is casting Suiting Mist on a target. Essence font with upwelling feels extremely, extremely satisfying to use. So I kind of really like my Mistweaver, but I'm gonna go with my Resto Druid. I'm gonna give my Resto Druid a chance at the start of BFA. I'm gonna level, or at least I'm gonna keep two alts extremely, extremely close together. I'm gonna level with my Restoration Druid. I'm gonna level with my Restoration Druid as a balanced Druid. Don't level as healers unless you're maybe a disc. But I'm going to level my druid first. I'm going to try and gear up my druid. I'm going to do mythic plus and things like that. You have to remember it's like three or four weeks before mythic plus actually opens. So you have a lot of time to gear up your alts and actually try them out as well. So I'm going to level my druid and I'm going to follow it with a mistweaver monk. I'm going to try and really gear up my monk and see which one's going to be more fun. And I'm going to really experience the azurite traits. Maybe some azurite traits are going to be more fun than the others and things like that. So this has been my overview of the healers that I really enjoy, or the healers that I'm going to main in BFA. 
It's going to be a Restoration Druid, and it's going to be a Mistweaver Monk. And I'm going to try and keep a third alt or a third character available. And I'm not sure who that's going to be. I'm, I'm still kind of leaning towards a Resto Shaman. But that might change. That might change. It's going to depend on the guild that I join and things like that. So I'll keep that in mind for the future. But I, I, can, I can definitely tell you for the people who are not sure about Mistweavers. For me, Mistweavers feel extremely fun. There's a lot of variety. The remake has been pretty good. And I'm really enjoying them. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you next time.